What's going on everyone? We've got a long day ahead of us and a long list of things to do. All right, I'm just gonna spin them off to you. Today, we have got to do the lid behind the bench. We have to fix it. There's a cabinet on the side of the closet. We've got to fix that. Speaking of the closet, we need to actually put a closet door on finally. We have to put the door on the closed hamper below the bed. We need to fix both the back cabinets on the back door and on the front door near the closet, the sink cabinet. We also need to install a water pump switch. We need to fix the CB antenna on the roof deck. We need to fix a water leak above the back doors. We need to fix this shower floor. If you were part of the live that I did a couple of months back, maybe even a couple of weeks back. Yeah, I told you about the floors. Got to replace those. We need to fix the headlight on the front passenger side of the van. We also need to restore and fix the paint job on the van. Uh, I guess when I say restore it, just kind of like help shine it up a bit. It's starting to stain in certain areas. That's a whole nother story. But yeah, we need to, we need to fix that. We also need to put a outlet on the back bench. I already have an outlet there, it's just not properly installed. And then last but not least, we are vinyl wrapping everything in the van. Every single, well, I say every single thing, not every thing, but most every single thing. With all the wood, I didn't properly seal it, like with a clear coat, so it's really hard to wash. Every Anytime I take a rag to it, any type of rag, anytime I have a cloth and I try to clean the wood, it's so porous, the wood, and it just, captures all the fibrics, all the fibrics, all the fibrics, all the fibrics. And it just becomes a pain. And so, yeah, we're just gonna, basically anything with the door that has a lot of use, we're gonna vinyl wrap it. All right, let's get into it.
All right, so now we're gonna move on to the shower floor, sort of. <clears throat> I don't have the materials yet to replace this and I'm still debating on if I wanna do another shower tile or just some type of laminated flooring. I'm still trying to figure it out, but I don't wanna get rid of the shower per se. So this is what I'm doing. I've got a bunch of materials here in this bag, a shower curtain, essentially, some glue, tape, razor blade, and I'm gonna make a makeshift shower pan, if you will something that I can take out and, and put back in. The reason, and some of you may already know this, if you've seen the van build videos, the depth of my floor is non-existent. It's like one eighth inch. Yeah, no subfloor. So I have no depth, can't sink in a shower floor. Sink in a shower floor. <laughs> so we're gonna make one that I can put in and take out. And I've gone over this before also, I'm gonna have a wall build up, kind of like a dam. Just gonna make a dam out of a shower curtain and where it comes out the side doors. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a shower pan out of a shower curtain. And if that works well enough, I may not replace, well, I'm gonna replace the floor, but I may not replace it with more shower tiling. That way I don't have to deal with the whole grout situation. I wouldn't be having to do this anyways had I had bigger tiles. As you can see here on the floor, some of the tiles come up. I could probably even pull one up. Yeah, see, I just pulled that up there. The tile is just too small. It's too much grout, so not enough stability. With all the vibration, I should have gotten bigger chunks of tile, less grout. That's gonna get replaced regardless. Like I said, just don't know if it's gonna be shower tile again. If it is, it's gonna be bigger or some laminated flooring. I think my fear is if I go with the laminated flooring and let's say the shower pan that I'm about to make gets a hole in it, I don't want it to ruin the floor because if you get enough water on this, it will start bubbling up. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so we finished it almost. Everything is almost. We don't really ever finish anything. It is done. I just need to get some clips, permanent clips, to stick in these four spots. We stick some here, two over here on the bench, and then one over here in the corner. That way, the side walls will stay up when I'm showering. But then I'm also gonna have a shower curtain coming down, so it'll help guide the overspray down into the shower pan, if you will. And then I got a little bit of excess running off the steps. That way it can go outside. And then when I get done, I can just grab it from the back here. Whoops, I lost the footage. I don't know what happened. I think maybe the camera died. We got cut off, sorry about that. But anyways, I was saying I could just grab it from the rear. I don't have it up right now, so I can't show you some, just stay with me folks. You're gonna grab it from the back, the rear of the shower pan the fake one, and just pull it forwards and let all the water go out the door. That's all I was gonna say. But also, we didn't really fix the shower floor, so we're gonna take that off the checklist, and I'm going to replace it with two other things. Uh, also, I say two things because there's one other item on the checklist we're not doing, which is washing the van and shining up the paint job, getting rid of all the stains. Don't have time to do that. I need to get back on the road. In case you haven't figured it out by now, this entire video is probably taking place over three weeks. Yeah, so go down the checklist. I think that is one, two, three, four, five, 15 items, only two we didn't do, but I'm going to replace them with two other things. One, I'm gonna fix the bed frame. When the bed is in its upright position and it's a wall, there's a framing structure that keeps the mattress from falling down. Well, that came loose during all the drives. I forgot to add Loctite to the screw. So we're gonna fix that. And then last but not least, we're gonna install another light bar on the front of the van. This light bar is brought to you by FNA Van Life. <laughs> I don't know, maybe almost two years ago, they gave me that light bar and I'm finally installing it. Thanks, Frankie and Alex. Let's do that and then we'll wrap this video up.
that's it for this video. The next video, we have another checklist. So the three things that we missed on this one will transfer to that one, the shower floor, washing the van, and that front cabinet. The other things that we're gonna add onto the list, we still need to finish the dining table and create the support leg system for that. We also need to finish up some of the trimming in here so we're not seeing framing and spray foam, the bare bones of the van. We're also going to replace some of the ceiling lights. Well all of the ceiling lights. I had a little mishap and now half of them only work. My fault, it was an installation issue, but I've got some better lights. I'm waiting for one other element to come in and we'll put those in. We're also going to replace the window coverings. I have the materials for that. I just gotta sew it together. We're also gonna paint this door right here. I've had the color forever. I just have been holding off because I don't know the design yet for the cabinet I'm gonna add onto this door that'll inset into the step. We're also gonna finally patch up the hole in the roof deck, get that taken care of. I also need to fix this perimeter light here above the passenger door, and that is gonna be it for now. Hopefully we can get it all done in the next video, fingers crossed. But until then, it's time for me to hand over my keys because we are getting yet another transmission put in the van. It's our third one, folks. We're going through a transmission a year. All right. See you in the next video. Peace.